Um, hi, my name is Nicole Romero and I grew up in Raton, New Mexico. I work as a health promotion specialist for the New Mexico Department of Health and I'm based in Raton, New Mexico, but I cover Colfax, Harding and Union counties. Um, I have many uh, responsibilities with my job. Like I said, I work with three counties and we just work on any kinds of, you know, um, public health emergencies like we worked on COVID. Um, right now we have a wildfire going, so we're trying to, you know, figure out how that affects um, everybody's health um, and as well as, you know, uh, issues such as like diabetes, any kind of chronic diseases. Um, I give lots of uh, health education classes. I do a chronic disease self-management class and, you know, just whatever helps New Mexicans um, become more healthy and more active and, you know, just live a healthier lifestyle. Um, we use many of tools. I mean, we use a lot of evidence-based um, interventions and, you know, we just, um, I go out in the community normally. I mean, it's been a little bit different since COVID, but I go throughout my three counties and as well as I go to a lot of trainings in like, um, you know, bigger towns like I've, I've been to Albuquerque, Las Cruces, you know, just um, with my whole health promotion team throughout the state. So I work with um, usually the Northeast region but I have a, a really uh, close relationship with, you know, all health promotion specialist staff throughout the state. So, I mean, we use a bunch of, uh, uh, you know, different interventions and, you know, we try to make it, you know, fun and everybody wants to actually, you know, get healthy. And, you know, we do like, we've done suicide awareness walks. Um, I have actually participated in creating a, um, like, you know, like a pamphlet where, you know, you can take it to the doctors and, you know, they'll, you know, prescribe you to go walking and it has all the trails in there. So it's really, it's a really awesome job. And it's, you know, it's so heart filling because we work with all ages. Um, so of course I graduated high school and then um, I did have my daughter at a young age. So, I mean, I got to see, you know, how it was to be a young mother and how hard it was, um, but I did have a lot of social support. Um, and then, of course, from there, I went, um, I was a working as like um, a teacher's assistant, which was great working with the little kids. But then right there, I could start seeing, you know, um, all the issues, you know, that, you know, like, you know, maybe uh, poverty and, you know, um, lack of food and all that good stuff. So I started seeing it at that point. Um, and then, of course, from there, I went to work at the uh, local hospital, which I mean, um, that was a totally different population. But I mean, I could start seeing all, you know, the chronic diseases come out and, you know, how um, everybody, you know, they would always want to like maybe start doing healthy choices, but they didn't know how. Um, so then obviously from there, I started with Dep uh, Department of Health and um, I'll tell you, like my my brain and my thinking expanded um, just because, you know, I, I could see all, you know, all these wonderful programs I could work with and, you know, how it positively affected everyone. I did have a lot of great relationships with some friends. I mean, I had um, a couple friends that their parents were teachers. So, I mean, I was always at their house and, um, you know, it was just great because I could learn from those teachers. It made us all into who we are right now, you know, so it was, it was pretty diverse. Um, I was actually like in different kind of clubs, like the key club and, and um, I would do things like, you know, I would work with the with my friends that had, you know, teachers. Um, I mean, I would learn how to um, uh, do do things such as like sewing and <laughs> cooking. And um, of course I was around, um, you know, different programs where I was like, you know, working with, um, with the bands and, um, you know, the choir and all that good stuff. So it was, it was pretty fun times for me. <laughs> Find your niche, like um, myself, I grew up with older parents. So um, I was always, um, you know, worried about them and worried about that population. So actually that's, that's like a lot of what I focus on right now. Like right now I, I um, work with the senior centers a lot, trying to give out senior farmers market checks, you know, which that gives senior citizens like 25 to $50 of fresh, fresh uh, fruits or vegetables. And I mean, just do something that makes you happy. Um, and, you know, definitely mind your community um, because, I mean, you could do so many great things in your community. And, I mean, it makes, it makes a person happy to see that, you know, it, it's good for your heart.